What's up everyone, Hey Day Guides here, bringing you a video covering everything that was just added or changed in this most recent update in July. There's quite a bit to this update, so let's get right into it. The first new thing that was added is a new crop. The new crop, which is cotton, takes 2 hours and 30 minutes to grow, and as you'll see later in this video, is used in some of the new products. The second new big thing that was added is a new machine, which is the sewing machine. It costs 4,500 coins to build and takes 20 hours. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so we can take a look at it and what products you can build in it. The first product you can build in it is a cotton shirt, which requires two cotton fabric and will take 45 minutes. The second item you can build in it is a woolly cap, which requires one cotton fabric and three wool, and will take one hour and 30 minutes to produce. The third new product you can create in the sewing machine is the violet dress, which requires two Two cotton fabric, one indigo, and one raspberry, and will take 2 hours and 15 minutes to produce. So now you have a brief overview of the sewing machine and the items you can produce in it. I'll be making a more detailed video later about the sewing machine, which will be included in my Everything You Need to Know series, so it'll cover everything about the sewing machine. The next new thing added in this update is another new product, which was added to the loom. This new item is cotton fabric, which as you can see here, requires 3 cotton and will take 25 minutes to produce. That's going to wrap things up for the new products. The next new thing added in this update is a decoration filter, which, as you can see, narrows down decorations to certain categories, so it is easier to find the decoration you want. I think this is a nice little addition, as hopefully it'll make it easier for people to decorate their farm. Also, it's nice to be able to narrow down what you're searching for and not have to scroll through every single decoration to find the one that you're looking for. The next thing added in this update is a new mining tool, which is the pickaxe. The pickaxe is the best of the mining tools since, as you can see here, for every pickaxe you use, you will get five different ores from the mine. Just like all the other mining tools, you also have a chance of getting some diamonds with it, and you get this item randomly through playing the game. Next, let's go ahead and move over to your town and see the new additions that they added to that in this update. The first new addition in the town is a new character, which is the cowboy. There's nothing really too special about him, it's just the fact that they added a new character that you'll be able to see in your town from now on. Also added to the town, you'll now be able to find treasure chests, which you can open to receive prizes. Just like the mystery boxes, these treasure chests award random prizes and tools to you. So it's a nice little addition that allows you to get some free items every now and then. The last new thing added to the town is some new decorations. The new decorations for the town can be found at the very bottom of the list and, as you can see, are unlocked once you reach a certain town level. The new decorations added in this update are the street light, which I believe is unlocked at level 4, the leafy plant, which is unlocked at level 6, and the hydrant, which is unlocked at level 7. That's everything that was added to the town in this update. That's also about it for the major new things that were added in this update. There are also some small things that were added or changed in this update, including new products being added to the Wheel of Fortune, a new summertime theme that you can see around your farm, and some new limited edition summer decorations. The limited summertime decorations include pool with slide, picnic mat, and mushroom. Lastly, as always with every update, you'll get a new package from the postman with some free diamonds in it and a brief overview of everything that was added in this update too. That's going to wrap things up as that's everything that was added in this July update. It's not as big as an update as the past few ones, but I think it's a good update as it adds a new machine, some new products to build, and some new tools, along with a few other good things. Hope you all enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and be sure to leave a like if you did. Also, be sure to let me know what you guys think of this update in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more great Hey Day videos.